So I helped BB's farming uh, strategy, like her whole setup. I did that two, three weeks ago. Turns out I was wrong on the numbers. It's actually higher than what I helped. And now BB is really a lot closer to uh, Quetzalcoatl. Or not Quetzalcoatl, uh, Kukuklin. Uh, let's see. BB, it says here, but this is with Super Scope. Trust me, it's different now. Uh, Cuckoo, 394,000. When I calc BB, I got 370,000. I will show the math for that later. Right now, I have been waiting to like go over this servant for three weeks, and now I have my chance. So, BB, before she was a utility servant, you used her for her third skill, and you kind of didn't care about her uh, MP damage. It hit like a wet noodle. They decided to buff the burst skill, and it made it a whole lot better if you were actually doing buster farming. Um, she was always able to do it, but she wasn't able to start from 50. She needed a super scoop. Uh, shown here. Like, she couldn't use her big battery that gave her a whole lot of damage, and her not being able to double stack that really fucked her over. So her numbers are significantly better. If in the past you summon for MP2 BB because MP1 was hitting potato damage, you are in for such a fucking treat. Your like your damage went up so much. If you leveled your BB up to level 100, again, you're going to see the huge benefits because BB has a lot, a lot of attack bonus in her kit like more than usual for buster farming. And any any um, upgrades to like the base damage is, it's not gonna be as dramatic as MP1 to MP2, fighting chaotic for Arkwood, but it's, I really don't wanna say it's comparable cause it's not, um, but it is it is a huge jump in, in damage. It's like, BB has pretty much every kind of buff under the sun except super effective. I don't think they're going to give her super effective on the MP. I think they are very aware of what state BB is in, along with her utility, because now she's a farmer and a utility. Her farming utility, her firm, ugh, her farming potential went up, and her utility technically went up because more characters can use her to, like, the effectiveness that people always hope for her. All right, enough renting. Let's get started. Base attack, it is low for a five star. And honestly, this part is surprising because usually the justification is that they have a lot of attack in their kit if their base attack is low. This is because she has a whole lot of other buffs in her base kit that they felt, uh, let's, let's bring her attack down a little bit. HP. It is higher to compensate, but not by that much. It is close to 15,000, which is decent for five stars, but it's not anything like super crazy, like 1,700, almost 1,800, like uh, Bunny Toria and Jinniko. MP charge 0.61. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were fighting for something else. Oh, I have this six, eight here and put it there. Nice. Uh, just kidding. That's not how math works. Uh, star weight, star gen. These are normal. Uh, I don't know. Are these normal new cancer numbers? They're below average. They're be Yeah, both of them are below average, actually. All right, star weight, above average, star gen, below average. But again, it, if you want to fudge the numbers, put this to move it over here. But again, that's not how math works. Uh, I'm actually going to start pointing out some traits you should be aware of. Chaotic Evil, Domen. If you want to do Buster Crits with BB, bring Domen and Double Vich and just forget the Oberon. And then you MP when you feel like it. And then your Buster Crits will fucking slap like crazy. Because that's adding another 40% attack on BB's kit. And 100% crit damage. 
BB zone kit when double stacked is 60%. So that brings you up to 100% uh, attack to 140 buster up and we'll see later but it's a lot of crit damage bb like act, again if you're not full-on buster farming with oberon like the final way like you don't want to screw yourself over just in case uh like you don't actually kill not the worst strat that works very well for multi-core like the new 90 plus plus using Doman instead of oberon is probably like a really good idea if you're using pb that note though is caters much more to cl though but it, it's all the same at this point it counts uh considering now bb is supposed to be critting on everything uh these are okay uh if she's solo she really wants she does kind of want to do extra uh mighty chains but not to a huge extent it's again why i say domin instead of it like if you if you're able to take advantage of the crits it's probably better domin simply because bb does want to do mighty chains to guarantee uh crits on her turns is she definitely gets benefits from doing brave chains all right so let's see where this uh benefit comes from it's here when she does an extra attack she gets 20 stars uh when she's solo this is very very helpful because she only has the one quick card in a team it's still helpful because if you're spamming buster brave chains uh you're not genning that many stars so this helps in addition 50 percent crit damage 800 percent star weight and the 30 percent attack that she gets for this buff awesome it was a normal self mod at ex and then they made it significantly better not only for her farming but her own potential as a dps self mod skill that is under consideration for being buffed because so many servants of the highest rank have had this skill buff or not so many it's bb bb has had this skill buff she has it at the highest rank and the lowest rank has been buffed thus everyone on this list is up for getting the skill buff cross your fingers for jolter because it might not happen because of story reason second skill this is why they were afraid of buffing this and making the cooldown six because that's what people wanted originally now people you don't need that because you can do it yourself so the second skill 50 percent battery 3k heal 20% buster, 50% MP damage, and one attack, three turn dodge on a seven turn cooldown. Seven turn is the new six turn. It's not unwieldy as long as you have the new uh, skill reloading, the pen. If you don't have that, you cannot farm with, it's the same as uh, a permanent four star not having mana loading and they can't farm because of that looking at Sumanai specifically. If you don't have mana loading, his farming does not work the way you want it to. You have to use super scope instead of starting uh, with a better CE for more damage. The same exact thing went for BB. If you do not have skill reloading, you are stuck doing this comp. This is your ceiling. Way, way too much. Third skill is where her utility uh, came into play. She gen 10 stars every turn while this skill was active, and she locked down the cards from the second you put the skill down. So that is why you see CL. Uh, she swaps out to Alco, BB pops her skill, and then Alco has three turns of AoE Buster Prince, uh, and she just farms like that. as long as the characters do not change from the time you activate this skill the, the cards are going to be locked so that is why you have to swap to alco first and not pop the skill while cl's on the field otherwise this buff goes away you don't get stars per turn i don't think um actually i think this might be separate 
these might be two separate things. Yeah, you might get the stars return, but losing out on the card lock, I would be paying more attention to that than losing 10 stars per turn. So you could double stack this, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, you're just getting a little more stars per turn, which I mean, getting 20 stars per turn does sound a lot better than getting 10. Not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, so these two, you can pop turn, uh, turn two if you really want to. Um, and then this, you have to wait till turn three, no matter what. Fastest skills, 10% arts up, but burn immunity, existence outside the domain. So she gets to work with Van Gogh for no goddamn reason other than BB wanted to. Oh my God. Yeah. So instead of using Doman, you legitimately, legitimately could be using Van Gogh. Um... Um, uh, get more attack. Da -da -da. Yeah, so this is like this is significantly more value for her crit damage than Domen because you get a hundred and fifty percent at MP1 and 30% attack. Doman gives 40% attack and 100% crit, da uh, uh, crit damage. So it really is up to you based on our team. If you actually have Van Gogh, um, you might actually want to because then you actually have Van Gogh's quick cards instead of BBs in the chain. So you might not be getting an extra attack uh, or mighty chain, but at least you have like actually really good quick cards with yeah, giving yourself a little buff on the side. I actually forgot she had existence outside the domain. Uh, and then the last thing, God Assistance, 25% debuff resistance. So her base debuff resistance is 33%. Oof. 10 skills. So this is her farming order. You need to unlock this first. Sorry, but that's just how it is. I suffer from it too. If this is un not unlocked, she cannot do her farming. If this is not unlocked, she can't do black rail farming. So this needs to be the priority and then you can get this one. So if you only have MP1, you're gonna have to wait till they make the servant coin changes and then your process for getting uh, another pendant gets speed up dramatically. Like if your BB is already in uh, bond level 10, 11, probably, I don't want to say you can stop bond leveling. You probably have your next append, but you're probably not going to be too far off getting another append at that point. Uh, what other appends? So she has anti-foreigner. I'm saying that because I just said you can use Van Gogh with her. Uh, Van Gogh then would be getting full class effectiveness and then BB will do a little more damage. But again, with us being able to turn on and off of pens, if you don't need this, if you don't need this for your fight, you might as well not have it because it, it does the same thing at that point. There's no point in having 30% uh, extra damage against foreigners if you don't fight foreigners. If, when you couldn't take this off, it was a different story because then you said, well, I might fight corners in the next two years. Who knows? Extra attack for her. She does want to do extra attacks, but her farming could matter a lot more than her doing an extra attack. Because this... Uh, this is like a little more damage on an extra attack you're not even guaranteed to be doing. These two are 
how much damage she can actually do in farming. MP. I personally think her MP damage right now is too comparable to all of the competition in the game. He is hitting very high neutral damage for having a really, really weak MP. Uh, the drain, the first drain is guaranteed. The second one isn't, and this that second chance is absolutely pathetic. Do I think this MP needs a buff? Yes, I think it is just not that good of an MP. Is that going to happen anytime soon? No. Uh, MP1 becomes MP2. So she's out literally out damaging Arquid and is more compared to Arquid fighting chaotic than she like chaotic MP1 than she is her normal MP. Like these two, when they don't have trait, they do around the same damage. Trait is what completely closed uh opens the gap. Does BB need traits? I don't think she does. But eventually the game is going to get to a point where almost every servant has a trait. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if BB got uh, an MP buff in his traits. But her damage will literally explode if she gets that. Like we are talking like probably closer to what Arquid's Black Rail numbers do. Yeah, no, immediately, um, if she gets a trait, uh, her trait number is gonna match Arquid's Black Rail number, if not pass it up. Her, M her regular MP damage is, it's probably not gonna pass up her Black Rail numbers, but it's still gonna close that gap a lot. And, I just think BB is like one of the rare exceptions where like they knew what was going to happen. They knew how much damage this character is going to have. And now they're not going to want to buff it. All right, let's keep going. Costumes, uh, gold mats. Ew, she, need, she needs a lot of gold mats that you probably don't want to give up. She needs so many gold mats you do not want to give up. Bon CE. Uh, arts up 10%, buster up 10% while she's on the field. Do you need Summer BB? If... If you're just looking for a moon cancer farmer, probably not. Go for Arquid, because her damage, she can use Black Rail. Her damage is just better. But, and this kind of has to do with Arquid too, BB does have other utility besides just single core farming. She has her third skill. I don't know about multi-core, but the fact that she can lock down cards is literally invaluable for a lot of servants if you have cl if you have alco B, um bb is a servant that makes her life significantly easier and just reduces rng if you know you're able to do something in three turns you just need the right rng for it bb is the character that is going to help your damage more than like brute forcing it That's it for BB today. I want to go play the actual game. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay, so pretty sure I forgot to actually be number that I dealt for. So just put on the bottom here. Uh, some BB, 4,000, 80,000, one, uh, 80,000. Uh, 90,000.
and turn three we have three hundred and five thousand three hundred and you got if i made any errors in my math i don't have any clue about that have it added thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.